Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I'm here today to share a quick and easy recipe for refried bean soup. It uses ingredients that you probably already have on hand, and it is the perfect recipe for a weeknight dinner because it comes together in about 10 to 15 minutes. So let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need some onions, some cilantro, some garlic, chicken broth, refried beans, diced tomatoes, and rotel tomatoes. So if you're interested in seeing how this quick and easy soup recipe comes together, stay tuned. All right guys, so in my large pot, I have a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and I added in my onion and my garlic and I just let it cook a little bit. And to that, I'm going to add my refried beans. Just gonna dump them in. And you're going to add in your diced tomatoes, your rotel, and you're not draining anything, you're just dumping it in, and your chicken broth. And I'm gonna turn up my heat to a medium heat. And what I'm waiting for are these refried beans to break, break down a little bit. So I'm just gonna break them up a little bit. Okay guys, so it's been about 10 minutes and the refried beans broke all the way down. And now I'm going to add in my cilantro. Now I know that some people love cilantro, some people hate cilantro. You don't have to add it in, um, but I am going to add it in. And then also I tasted it, it needs a little bit of salt. So here is where you're gonna wanna add in your salt or whatever other spices and seasonings that you'd like to add. And I'm just gonna let this uh, come together a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna plate it up and show you how I garnish our refried bean soup. All right guys, so here is the soup all plated up. And as you can see, it was really, really simple to make. I like it because there are a lot of variations for this recipe. If you have vegetarians or if you are a vegetarian, you could use vegetable broth and vegetarian refried beans. Um, you can make it spicier if you want to, but I have garnished this soup with Monterey Jack cheese and some sour cream and some avocado. You could also use tortilla strips as well. It's really versatile in a very hearty soup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. That really helps our channel. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.